So a demonstration video on how to set this new rig up. Flip it upside down, put your legs in, make sure that all your chain holders are facing the same way. Find a fairly level place and set it up. Just insert your sluice. Connect your overflow here and into the back of your power sluice. Make sure your turbo mat is flush with the bottom. Your classifier in it. Hook your water feed up there. And then hook your pump up to the small end. I usually use a gold pan, but I found this laying over here. Never let your pump sit directly into the sand. If it sucks up sand, it can mess up your pump. And I highly recommend always buying an extra one of these and carrying it with you just in case something happens. Slide your battery into the battery holder on the side. Watch the magic happen. This is a brand new rig. I just built it. Testing it out for the customer. I test all my rigs out. I run them before I take any money from anyone. And that thing just looks awesome. Perfectly balanced. But let's run some material through it and see how it does. That thing is amazing. Running like a sewing machine. I've been getting some questions on how this rig handles clay. And from what I've seen in my experience, there is nothing out there that can even hold a candle to how this thing handles clay. Because the pre-wash in here is amazing. I can put mud or clay or it doesn't matter what type of material into this classifier. And because it's not touching the bottom, because there's a space, it keeps that vortex active inside. And it actually auto-feeds. And that slurry inside allows... The material to break up and release the gold. It is hands down one of the best, most effective. No matter where you are, what type of gold you're trying to find, what type of material you're trying to run, the best pieces of equipment in its class that exists and that's how you run it I'm going to show you how easy this thing, this rig is to spot check all you're going to do cut your power off let the water drain down and this is the only rig in the world that uses this blue bow turbo mat as a production unit you can also hook a speed controller up and use it to run cons. This is probably one of the best concentrate runners that exists. I haven't ran much material. If I had ran more, you would probably see gold in those cells. But let's show you how easy it is. You just pull this mat out, put it into a pan, tap it like that. There'll be a little bit underneath if you could scoop that out. Put it in the pan. Like I said, I only ran a couple shovelfuls, but you can see that there's gold there getting caught in that mat. A few specks. Cut this back on. Let it flush that. It was under the mat down in there. Cut it back off. And all you're going to do is just pop this mat back in there. Now I've modified these mats to make them heavier to stay down in there. And if you want to do a full clean out, you'll do what I just did. And you'll set your gold pan on top of your rig like that. And you'll take this sluice out and just clean it out into your gold pan. This adventure sluice pops out and you'll just fold it out and clean it into there. And the rib matting in the back is permanent. It stays in there. And that's pretty much it.
This is Daniel Reed saying let's get some gold, y'all. And Dream Matt Rocks. Love this hat. Thank you, David Peterson. Any questions or comments, just uh, message me.